Risky Behavior. How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I'm your host, Smelly, and this is another Kendra G Singles Live Reaction. Um, in today's show, I'm going to be talking about presentation. How important is presentation, especially when looking for love, when trying to attract the opposite sex? And I have a few theories on that, but I don't want to be too long with it. I'm about to play this episode with Kendra G speaking with the young lady you see on the screen. And um, I'll be giving my thoughts as we go. Oh, it worked. Hey, Kendra. So I'm in my car. I literally just pulled up home. And yeah. I, I can see you good to stay in this light, okay? Okay. What's your, what's your name, baby? Hi, guys. My name is Tisha. Tisha. Tisha, Tisha where are you calling us from? So I'm calling from Norfolk, Virginia. Hey. Is that where you live? Yes. I went to Hampton University. Oh, shout out to NSU. Behold the green and gold, but shout out to the real HU, though. <laughs> uh, that's why I know Norfolk, because Norfolk is not too far from Hampton University. So shout out to everybody that went to a black college. Okay. We don't got time for no rivalries, y'all. Uh, okay, say your name again, Tisha? Yes, I'm Tisha. Tisha, how old are you? I I am. I just turned 35, July 16. Shout out to all the cancers in the building. Okay. 35. Do you have any kids? I do not have any kids. You ever been married? Never never been married, but I do want to get married. Okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? Well, so far, so good. As you can see, beautiful young lady. Seems like she's got that personality um, already. 35, no kids never married so they say that um those type of women are not out there like that so um she should be uh snatched up pretty quickly in these dating streets right so far so good uh, right now i am transitioning into real estate so yeah so is that do you want me to put down real estate is that your job yeah go ahead put down real estate and just you know a life enthusiast how about that how do you pay your bills right now? So, so, I pay my bills. I do work with a global marketing agency out of New York called, like, well, I guess I don't have to say the name. But, yes, yeah, so I work for a global marketing agency based out of New York. Okay. okay. And what's your zodiac sign? Cancers. Cancer gang. Y'all know we just stepped out of cancer season, but, yes, I'm a cancer. Okay. So I don't know. My red flag start to go up, right? when someone's not very clear on how they make their money and she gave an answer but it was kind of like an answer it's like oh i'm transitioning into real estate and it's kind of like um because the answer the, the question was very clear the answer should have been very clear kendra shouldn't have had to double back and ask well how do you pay your bills and it's oh well, you know global marketing company and stuff and i hear people I don't know. My ears just perk up when I hear that because that's kind of a common answer I hear all the time from um, women on these shows where they're very um, unclear about how they make their money. And so it, it does it. My ears perk up, but you'll see why my ears perk up when someone says something like that. Teresa? Tisha. Let Tisha. Tisha. Oh, like like Leticia, okay. Mm -hmm. So Tisha, Norfolk, Virginia, um, 35, cancer, no kids, never married, works in real estate, and also works for a marketing company at the moment. What yeah. kind of man are you looking for? So uh, I'm looking for a man um, that is pretty much in his career, knows what he wants in life, attractive. I'm a little bit shallow, so I would like for him to be attractive but nobody that thinks they look better than me okay but <laughs> but um so pretty much well into his career i would prefer a guy that doesn't have kids but if he has kids um probably like not multiple baby mamas i'm just i, I don't i don't think that i could deal with that um you know 
Somebody that's funny, articulate, smart, educated. I believe in hypergamy, Kendra. So, you know, I want him to have more money, more education, more status. You know, I just want somebody to be able to lead, okay? Okay, she wants to follow, so be a leader. And now you see why my ears perked up. Now, I know they say the whole women are hyper hypergamous and stuff like that but that's why my ears perked up because i knew something like that was coming where it was you're transitioning really not seeming like you're on your feet right at the age of 35 but you're coming in saying you want this guy at just this upper upper higher level and stuff and i get it and i understand it right it makes sense to me but it's you have to be careful like with stuff like that when you um are a guy you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're being used um where you're giving more than you're receiving from the other person and trying that person trying to cover it up by saying well Oh, well, you know, I just want him to be able to be a leader. But you don't have to be this guy just well, well off into your career, just so much more wealthy or just so much this and so much that to be a great leader. Being a great leader is um a character thing, not a financial thing. There's plenty of guys that make a lot of money that are not good leaders. And so it, it kind of looked like she's just um looking for her ticket. Well, you know how they say ticket out of the hood. Not saying that she's in the hood, but that's she's looking for her way out. What are your deal breakers? So my deal breakers, if you got that side tooth missing, I I cannot. I, I like that's one of my deal breakers. Um, my deal breaker is somebody that isn't sure of himself, somebody that is not a leader, somebody um that's like in between jobs, live with his baby mama, like you know. I just not I, my deal breaker is a bum, Kendra. It's a bum. My deal breaker is a bum. No bums. None. Not okay. That. What's the <laughs> definition of a bum to you? Give me some bum. Characteristics. Um, um, bum characteristics. Um, probably no job, no car. Um, you know, basically not smart, not smart. Uh, a podcast guy, passport bro, like j just bums. <laughs> All right, should he look a certain way? You kind of touched on it already. Um, I would just like him to be um, attractive and confident because, you know, some some guys probably aren't as attractive, but they're really confident. So if you're confident, dress well, smell good, got, that, got those sad teeth, they know some sad teeth not missing, and, and your breath don't stink, baby, we can work. Okay, you Think can they work. they still there. Okay. Um, now, here's the official question. Do we got to make a certain amount of money? Um, he do not have to make a certain amount of money, but I will say living here in Virginia, I believe like the, the median base is maybe around about like 60 K 70 K. So if you're in Virginia, like, you know, especially like, you know, like the Hampton Roads area. Yes. But depending on where you live, at least you're like long you're in like the median of whatever it is, like, you know, the state that you're currently in or city that you're currently in. But, you know, it don't have to be like six figures there's nothing long as you have a job long as you're able to take care of yourself and you are able to take care of a woman let's do it all right now it's time to do the kendra cam oh, okay hold on kendra wait a minute girl because i told you i just pulled up to the house do i need to get my trap oh, let me set it up to be able to see you boo okay we need some light though okay hold on let me sit it right here Cause I got this cute little number on this little dress. I just got back from my seagull bay for my birthday. Okay. Oh, we can't see you. We need some light. <laughs> we need some light. Go, go get some light. Go by, go, the, go by the, the house lights or something. Let me see. see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Look, I'm all on my they day. Said, they, said they, they said you got a body. I can't see you. Look, I'm can't all see. on my day before Okay, what well, you got a body, okay. <laughs> Ooh, uh, all right, so Tisha, right? Yes, Tisha. Tisha, Tisha. when was your last relationship?
So, Matt, like my my situationship or like real relationship, <laughs> whatever you want to consider. So I would say um, my last real relationship that I that I consider my real relationship probably was like 2017. 2017. Okay, 2017. And I've I've dated I've dated since then, but the one that I actually can say I was in a relationship was 2017. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Ooh, the last time I was intimate with someone, probably, maybe like a month ago. Okay. Is that guy an option? You want? No, you know, Kendra, he has four kids, four baby mamas. It's just a little fun. Just a little fun, Kendra. You know how them guys with all them kids, they just be fun. Fun. So, so are you trying to be done with him? Well, you know, I told him that, um, there's just some things that I'm trying to, you know, do in my life, and um, I just don't think that it'll work. He has an attitude problem, and I'm just not, you know, it's it's okay to be, you know, emotional, but if you're going to be emotional, be emotional, intelligent with it. And it's just like, he's a big baby, and I don't like that. So you're done with him? I'm done. What's wrong with not answering that question? I keep saying it all the time. Like, no woman with class answers that question. You're on a dating show. But you're so... <sighs> I think some of these women get caught up in the whole, I want to be Kendra's friend, that they forget they're on a dating show. Keep that to yourself. You got the personality, you got the looks, you know kids never married. Like, come on. Stop answering that question. Nobody really wants you to be honest about that. It's like body count. Lie. Lie. You say the same lie all women say. How many people have you been with? Oh, I can count how many people I've been with on one hand. You think anybody actually believes that? No. But at least you got enough class to lie. <laughs> Don't answer that question. Especially if you're going to say a month ago. Especially when you just went on this long rant about how you don't want no bum, no baby mama drama, and all this crap you was talking. But a month ago, you was just down the street sleeping with the dude with the um with the four kids and the four baby mamas and so this goes back to what i was saying when my ears perked up is because why would a good decent guy in his career a leader financially stable say well you got a lot of good things going for you but at the same time you're transitioning from one career to the next you want me to be so much more advanced than you. I assume so I can help you while I will not be getting any help from you. You say you don't like this, 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 this and that. But you're still rolling around having fun with what you don't want. And it just makes a person look at you differently when you have such a strong opinion about a certain type of guy. But you're still giving your body to that guy and then the other guy that's not the fun guy he got to come with all this other stuff to qualify to be with you but the bum he, he ain't got to do nothing and you think a decent good guy is not going to hear that now i still think she can get a good guy because i don't think she's a bad person but that's going to make some guys like, ooh. Especially when you just like, no bum, no bum, no bum, no bum, no bum. Who you sleeping with? Oh, I just slept with a bum last month. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm. All right, three points you have to work on, Tisha. You said what? Three things you have to work on. Three Things that I have to work on, girl. I gotta stop cussing, baby. I love cussing. 
Like, I, I, I ain't cussing on this, this lab because I'm trying to be professional, but I like to cuss. So I, I need to work on that. Um, I need to also work on overthinking because sometimes I do feel like that I will overthink myself out of things. And, um, I'm, I'm, and then my third thing is I'm learning to how to trust myself again because I think at some point I stopped trusting myself and I'm just basically getting back to okay. that. Okay. Learn how to trust herself again. Okay. That's a good thing. She know her three flaws. And um, so far, too, I want to add on is that she seems like um, somebody that you would have a fun time talking to. And so that's an extra point in her favor for any guy that chooses to hit, hit her up. She has a lot of things that make you pause like, whoa, wait a minute. But she's also got so many great qualities about her. 35, no kids, um, never married. Um she is a worker um she's um going she's at least bettering herself she's she's attempting to better herself going into real estate great personality seems like she got a great sense of humor um knows how to talk um she may say she cuss but she don't sound ratchet or ghetto or nothing like that you know um she's educated and everything so okay and um Child, I almost forgot my question. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? You want to know? A guy would be lucky to be with me because I just I bring a lot. Well, you know they say I bring a lot to the table, but so I've been getting to this thing called like human design, and my human design is a projector. I'm a projector. You tell me something, I am going to project into you, and I am literally going to tell you everything that you need to do, your solution, and how to get it done. So. With me, you're going to get humor. You're going to get beauty. You're basically going to get one of those old school traditional women. I like to like to cook, clean. I like to have fun. I believe in family. I, I have a big family, and I would like for guys to have a big family as well. Um, so it's just it's all around good energy, good fun. Um, I love like I said, I love smart people. So, you know, it's, it's definitely going to give, all right, how are we going to do this? How are we going to make this money? Are we a team? We're just going to be a team player. So, yeah. Okay, let's do it now. Question, Tisha, should he be in Norfolk, Virginia? He don't have to be in Norfolk, Virginia, because let me tell you, Kendra, the dating pool here has, like, doo-doo, vomit, pee, a little semen, a little blood. So it's, it's just time to get out of here, Kendra. It's just, it's, I, I don't mind long distance dating. Um, Tisha, what's the age range you would date? So being that I just turned 35, I would say maybe the youngest, 33, 34, maybe. And I would say the oldest, maybe 45. Okay. And could he have could he have kids? You know, we know you got to end with a man with four kids, four baby mamas. You know, Kendra, I don't mind if you have kids, but just not like multiple kids as far multiple baby mamas. You just not with a man that got four baby mamas. Girl, I told you that was fun, Kendra. And when I used to date him, he only had one child. And when he spun the block, he had three more with four women. So, but that's not in my business. That's not my man. That's okay, so now moving forward, no more m multiple baby mama men. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, Tisha, are you on the Kendra G? Wait, did I ask you why would I got to be lucky to be with you? Oh, yes, yeah, you did ask me okay. that. Are you on the Kendra G Singles Dating app? No. Oh, you got to download it. Yeah, I'm downloading it when I get off. <laughs> You have an amazing personality. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so real quick, how would you spell your all right, I'm going to um, stop it right there. But um, I would say that presentation is everything. And I think what is happening when you're looking at shows like the Kendra G Singles Live Show, a lot of time when women are talking to other women, especially when they're talking to somebody like a Kendra G, they kind of forget that they're on a dating show and they kind of feel like they're talking to their home girl. And so what happens is sometimes Kendra G is able to pull out of them 
certain things that she might not say if the host was a male. All in all, I feel like she's an awesome person. Great personality and everything. There's a couple of moments where you got to pause and step back and think about it. But I think she'd be a great woman um, to somebody. Um, something else I wanted to point out. I get tired of people talking about the dating pool got piss in it. So they want to date outside their city. But everybody in the next city and the next city and the next city says that the dating pool got piss in it and stuff like that. And um. Just change the way that you're dating. You know, um, you can't say the dating pool has piss in it when you're spending the block to go sleep with the dude that has four kids and four baby mamas. <laughs> you're saying that you did not have to go sleep with that guy. There are guys in your city that are hardworking, good guys without four kids, without four baby mamas that you could have went to have fun with. OK, so don't say that the dating pool got um, piss in it. But back to what I was saying about um, presentation. I think a lot of these um, young women need to remember that when you come on this dating show, you're not coming on a dating show to be best friends with Kendra G. So watch how you behave. Watch what you say. That whole when's the last time you was intimate with somebody? Keep that to yourself. Nobody needs to know that. Don't get all buddy, buddy, buddy and forget you're on a dating show and say something that you would say to your homegirl in private. Forgetting that you're being recorded and put on the Internet, hoping to find you a good guy, a love, um, a husband. You see what I'm saying? And so presentation is everything. Um, don't forget where you're at. Don't forget who you're talking to and why you're talking to them. And so, and that's just why I wanted to talk about presentation. I think some women come onto this show and they're good women, but when they're talking to the, um, to Kendra G, they tend to forget that they're on a dating show because they're so excited and they just love talking to her and it causes them to open up and say things and present in a way that is great if you're looking for a home girl but not so great if you're looking for a girlfriend or a wife or you know life partner so that's all i wanted to say make sure you get into the comment section let me know um what you think I appreciate all those who are subscribed, all those that like, that share. Appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.